welcome back to my youtube channel my name is mal and today we are going to be doing an otaku contact lens video i have this gorgeous package of contact lenses that i've actually had sitting here for a couple of months <laughs> but i am super excited to try out these lenses now i don't know much about otaku lenses but I do follow them on Instagram and I've seen some gorgeous like transformations where girls do their makeup and then they put the lenses in and it just looks so good. And I noticed on the package that it says Otaku and Selotica. So I'm wondering what the connection is between them. Maybe I need to look this up because I do really love Selotica contact lenses. If Otaku is associated with them, I'm assuming they would be gorgeous too. Before I start, I do wanna let you guys know that I actually have a discount code for Otaku lenses. The code is Mallory. I'll put it right on the screen here and it will save you some money on your purchase. So if you do end up liking any of these contacts, definitely use that code because it'll save you some coin. My eyes are naturally quite dark brown. So all of the lenses that I picked up to try have like a natural hazel or greenish kind of look to them. I do usually wear prescription in my contact lenses. I'm sitting here now with nothing in my eyes so I can barely even see, <laughs> but the contacts that they sent me unfortunately don't have prescription. The other thing I wanted to mention is the website that you purchase these from is called billionairebeauties.com and the contacts look to be made in Korea but sourced from Australia. I received a bunch of super cute pink cases with my order. I wonder if they know pink is my favorite color. And the contacts I'm going to try today are Smoky Grayin, Lover Cloud, waterfall blue desire honey olive green and peanut butter and i really like the sound of peanut butter so let's do these ones first okay so i have the first shade in this is the shade peanut butter on me i see that these are a natural kind of hazel tone and they look to have almost a bit of a two-toned effect so these contacts have a really nice diffused gray limbo ring on the outer edge and then on that inner center, you're getting that kind of lighter peanut butter brown color, which is meshing with my natural eye. There is quite a bit of like color definition and light and dark spaces for my natural eyes to peek through, which I think is making these look quite natural. I would be curious to see if they had a color like this without the limbo ring, um, just because I think that might end up looking really nice too. But first pair, I think I like them. Next, let's try green olive. Okay, I had to put my glasses on for a second to see what these really look like, but these are cute. It does have a nice deep limbo ring. The limbo ring looks like it's a really dark green. It's not like black, it's not quite that dark. Closer to the pupil, there is some kind of definition, but it's really subtle, and I feel like they could have done more. Um, and I also feel like the pupil on these is not that diffused, especially comparing to the last pair that I tried. The color is gorgeous, but I just don't like how the pupil hole looks. I feel like it's not as diffused as I would like to see. This next shade is called Desire Honey, and I personally, just from looking at them in the packaging, feel like these are going to be a gorgeous hazel. They kind of are reminding me of like a Hydrocore Avella from Zelotica, so I'm curious to see how these look in my eyes. Wow, okay, these might need to go into my next dupes video because these are definitely reminding me of like a Hydrocore Ochre from Zelotica. They're gorgeous. This is a beautiful light caramel colored contact and I really like how they're diffused around the pupil hole. I love the detailing in the contact lens. I think that they look very stunning and very natural. This is a great pair of contacts. So next we're gonna try Waterfall Blue. Okay, so I have in Waterfall Blue right now. This looks like your typical kind of grayish toned contact on me. As far as the color goes, they have a lighter kind of bright green around the pupil hole and then on the outer edge of the contact you're getting that nice icy blue tone. The pupil is also fairly diffused but 
I would say with my dark brown eyes, it doesn't look quite as diffused as I would like it to. I'm a little bit on the fence of whether I like this kind of grayish blue color or whether I'm not really into it. What do you guys think? So next I wanna try Smoky Gray N. They do look like they're gonna be similar to the other ones in the black packaging that I tried with a limbo ring. So let's see what these look like. These are gorgeous, you guys. I did not expect to love these so much. Honestly, I wasn't sure what the color was really gonna look like, but they are a gorgeous hazel toned kind of caramel light brown with a deep limbo ring on the outer edge of the contact lens. Now the limbo ring is pretty dark. It's almost like a black but for some reason i feel like it's really working they look so pretty like these definitely make your eyes pop this color actually is reminding me of a similar pair of contacts i tried from orchid lenses called rich brown and yeah these look very very similar so i love this shade i think they're so pretty they really caught me by surprise because again i don't usually like limbo ring contacts all that much but this is stunning okay one last pair to try in the shade lover cloud these look like they're gonna be like a light green and then I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on otaku lenses this is another really gorgeous bright green it's an absolutely stunning color I don't typically like reach for really bright colors like this but I do find that when I try them I usually fall in love with them I think this is a beautiful shade if you completely want to change your eye color and make them appear to be a lot brighter. It almost looks like there's a kind of like a blue or almost grayish blue limbo ring on the outer edge of the contact. I do think that just a hint more of that like feathering with your natural eye would help these to look a lot more natural. Let me know what you guys think because sometimes I feel like I'm being too picky since I try on so many different contact lenses. I took some notes. Let's talk about the pros and cons and my overall opinion on otaku lenses. Now at the beginning of the video I was a little bit confused as far as are they a Celotica partner or are they just in competition with Celotica? But I did look through their website again and I actually noticed that they sell Celotica contacts. So from my understanding, they are a Celotica retailer as well. I'm not super familiar with Australian contact brands, so this was my first time trying and I don't know what the prices would typically be in Australia for contact lenses, but what did stick out to me is that their prices are a little steep for the contacts. I thought that these were gonna be more around like the $30 price range, but these contacts were between $60 and $80. And I mean, when there's so many contact brands out there that offer really beautiful lenses for quite affordable prices, this to me is a pretty high price point. Now that being said, I will give the contacts an 8 out of 10 for comfort. And again, this is just for first impressions. I haven't worn them all day, but I can say that they are quite comfortable. I do also feel like my eyes personally can be a little bit sensitive, especially if I'm tired or if I've had a long day, like today. So um, for the fact that they do still feel comfortable, I think that's pretty impressive. And again, I haven't worn them all day and I probably won't be able to because they don't have prescription, which leads me into my next point. I could not for the life of me find prescription in any of these contact lenses. I was adding them to my cart and there was no option to add your prescription. So that makes me believe that this company does not offer prescription in their contact lenses. And honestly, if that's the case, then what the hell? <laughs> like most people that wear contact lenses wear them because they need prescription in their lenses. I mean, if I didn't need prescription to see, I probably wouldn't really wear contact lenses. I don't know, it just it kind of doesn't make sense to me. I feel like they're missing a huge market of people if they really don't have prescription offered. Let me know if you guys have ever ordered from Otaku Lenses. If they do offer prescription, please let me know because I would love to get some of these other contact lenses that I fell in love with in a prescription lens. I would say that my two favorites were the Smoky Grayin 
and the Desire Honey with Lover Cloud coming in third place. And those are the ones that I tried on last. I will say as well that I want to kind of, you know, maybe deduct a couple points for the fact that I felt that the pupil hole could have been a tad more diffused. Now again, I am a little bit picky, but knowing that these contacts are kind of pricey, I'm comparing them in my head to some of the other more expensive contact brands out there. And honestly, for the price, I feel like you should be getting a little bit more diffused of a pupil hole. I hope I wasn't being too harsh with my final thoughts, but I definitely wanted to be honest. I think the two main things that kind of are alarming me are the fact that there's no prescription and they are kind of pricey. So let me know what you guys think of Otaku lenses. Let me know if you've tried them, what some of your other favorite colors are. I'd love to know in the comment section because maybe I'll try some more from them. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I have so many more videos on my channel. My contact playlist is gonna pop up on the screen here. So definitely check that out because I have reviewed hundreds of contact lenses. And if you did fall in love with some of the lenses from this haul, then use my discount code Mallory because it will save you some money on your purchase. Take care guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!